Hello. I will deploy my Node application to SAP Cloud Platform, Cloud Foundry environment, from now on. As a prerequisite for deploying your application to Cloud Foundry, you must have SAP Cloud Platform, Cloud Foundry environment where you can deploy your application, for example SAP Cloud Platform trial. If you don't have SAP Cloud Foundry environment, please create it with referring to my other video. The folder structures and files in it are like these. By the way, this repository is in GitHub, and the URL of its GitHub is listed in the description of this video, so please check it. In the root folder, there is the manifest file. In the folder app, there is the source code file named server.js, and it is the sole file that I've coded. This is a quite simple application. Let's look at the contents of important files. The listed folders or files in this CF ignore, are ignored during pushing the application. I don't need to push folders and files in node modules, so I specified it here. Listed files and folders in git ignore is ignored when you push to github. Manifest file is important for the application deployment to Cloud Foundry. I described the least information here, application name and the folder name that has the main application file. You can specify more information like the size of memory, disk quota, build pack, and so on. For details, please check the Cloud Foundry documentation. Let's go to app folder that was specified for path in the manifest file. Package.json file is automatically created when you execute npm init, at the beginning of creating the application. And it is automatically updated when you execute npm install. Because I've installed express, it is listed in the dependencies. The important key here is main. As the value for this key, it is necessary to specify the file that should be initially called. In this case, it is server.js file. This is the main source code file, and initially called. The source code file is only this one in this example, and it just returns the message with the host name. The last line is issuing the log with the value of port number and this application's environment. The sub-account where I will deploy the application is this one. Because it is necessary to use API endpoint to log on via command line interface, copy it. Open the command prompt and change directory to the root folder of application. Enter the command cf login with specifying API endpoint that was copied just a little while ago. Then, input the email address and password. Enter the command cf apps that shows applications in this space. Currently there is no application yet. Be sure that you are in the root folder of your application. And then let's deploy the application by using cf push command. 
It uploads files from the local to Cloud Foundry, creates the application, downloads necessary files to run the application, and finally start the application. This is the information of application that was deployed. It is already running. The application information can also be shown by CF Apps command. Here, you can get the URL to access this application. Let's use the deployed application by entering the URL that was checked in the output of CF Apps command. It returns hello world message with the host name as expected. So I can say that the application is successfully deployed and running normally. Let's go back to SAP Cloud Platform Cockpit, and check the application status. Here, you can check the application status. Click on the application name to go into the details. In this page, you can control the application. The URL of the application can be checked here too. Let's go to the log page. In this page, you can check the logs issued by the application, and others, for example the log during CF push command. In Environment Variables page, you can check environment variables of the application. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.